welcome back again for another stock analysis analysis for Tito CME Holdings Corporation today is 16th of March 2021 after markets currently tr uh, currently price at 10.18 cents pesos and it bounced back on the EMA 200 area it bounced back and it receives around 1160 yes if we check yes 1160 on uh, now it's now a resistance and there's a new support around 9 so we have will plot this two support this new support new resistance and the previous support and change it to early but certainly we are obviously downtrend downtrend so for tomorrow's market let's change it to hourly Ooh, it seems good for an early because it's the green cross the red the red on the MACD and the RSI is 37 but definitely we need a confirmation of breaking through this previous resistance so far we'll tackle again two scenarios for this the bearish and the bullish scenario let's tackle the first one the the bullish of course if we break through again and the previous support 1160 cents we could have it could resist and it could passively but if it's really a bull market where or it's already done the I mean the bearish is done if that if done that's if guys if it's done so I think RSI is hmm oh as in a bullish perspective 80% uh -huh. certainly good good to buy for a short term because we really don't know if this previous new resistance could still do yeah because yeah we need to surpass the 6 10 78 if we surpass that to 11 we need a con bullish confirmation that surpassed the 11.60 once it it once it breaks through that we'll find a we'll find a position for a short term and could go possibly uh, 12 13 area but we need to make sure that our size breaks through the the 50 if you see this it's it's struggling to go 50 we need, we need to see that surpass the 50 area once it surpasses 50 I'm going to buy but so far there's a pattern going here you see pattern hmm what is the pattern so it break but it fails 
so it goes down it breaks through but it fails it goes down new support and a new support oh there's a short term uh, if we check on the 30 minutes hmm, I cannot go beyond okay Ooh, we, we can see forming a oh double bottom here for the short term and RSI is moving but I think let's be careful guys because it's still uh, below the 200 EMA so watch out for tomorrow's market so that will proceed to the bearish scenario okay remove drawings if it's still if we highlight this EMA put it big because we need to surpass also that's a very big uh, confirmation that it will go back in a bullish but once it hit that EMA and it resists mm -mm -mm -mm, I will sell my holdings and it surely if it not breaks through the EMA 200 it's then certainly still uh, bearish uh, for 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 a few weeks or months we don't know the markets so what we're doing here is uh, probabilities so so this is the scenario if it really confirms it's bearish so it it's like a scenario like this yeah it breaks through but it fails on this area in the 16 and it fails down go back to 850 850 46 area and make a small double up so certainly it will go up and it will resist if it resists it goes down and make another make another downtrend one more downtrend then I'm looking to buy once it resists here I'm looking to buy here around the six seven area if we check that on a daily time frame the six seven area is the previous yes previous support around here there is a uh, psychological support around here six seven and the worst case scenario is the five area six seven let's put a three plot that once it hit that area uh, I'm looking to buy more dito and uh, it certainly will go some consolidation for a few uh, days or weeks so there's the bullish this is would be a 50 50 50 50 ratio for me <laughs> but if we uh, certainly got a higher volume surpass the previous volume on the March 10th uh, that's uh, bullish also if we look at the price action price of the, uh, the volume and the and the price if surpass all those all-time volume highs it certainly will go but it still the sellers are still in control because anytime soon in the daily time frame doesn't budge 
much at all still downtrend so be careful guys tomorrow there might be a pull back up around 11 that's not good uh, risk ratio yes not not good risk risk ratio uh, to 16 percent yeah for I think for short-term trades but be careful be careful because uh, Dito is a lot of uh, trading tomorrow for the open markets so I think that's it for today I hope you enjoy my stock analysis the bullish and the bearish scenario on the Dito stock D2 SM, uh, CME Holdings Corporation. So if you like the video, please notify. Uh, please subscribe, I mean. And like the video to smash the like. And hit the notification bell to be notified on the next D2 Stock Analyst. And see you again to the next episode. Uh, yeah, next video. Stay tuned. If you want to comment, just comment. Violent reactions are welcome. Enter. I will entertain comments, suggestions uh, of any stock, PSE, local, global, international. Hit me up on the comments down below. So see you again. Thank you for watching until the end. Bye, guys.